Welcome to another Arduino project video. In this video I was going to demonstrate version 1 of what at the moment I'm referring to as the close but not too close robot. And the idea behind it is I was trying to in some way mimic the behavior that you will encounter when you try to pet like a suspicious but nonetheless curious kitten or puppy. <clears throat> what often happens is as you reach out toward them they'll back away if you get too close. But then they're curious, so when you pull back a little bit, they follow you or they ease forward towards you. And so you need to get close. They'll let you get close, but not too close. And they don't want you to get too far away either. So that's this is the first sort of prototype version of that. And what I hope to be able to do is to incorporate this behavioral routine into a floor sweeper, two-wheeled round robot. I have one. I've built it a long time ago. And it does obstacle avoidance. It does line following, etc., etc. But I wanted to give it a little more animal-like behavior. Hence, the close but not too close robot routine. And so let's plug it in so everyone can see. And the way it works is if you get too close, it runs away. But if you get too far away, it comes towards you. So it will always keep a certain amount of distance between <clears throat> your hand or whatever the object is and the ping or that ultrasonic sensor that's on the dowel rod. So it will let you get close but not too close. And if you get too far away it doesn't like that either. And you can play with it. And then when nothing's within <clears throat> a certain range or everything that it's getting a reading on is out of a certain set bounds, I have it set to 20 inches, then it will just sit there. And it will stop at the last position that it was. If you remove your hand at that point, but if you go out of the 20 inch bounds, that's just a parameter I've set it'll stay at the last position that it was in. But it's the close, but not too close bot. It's not perfect, clearly. It's a prototype version 1. Let's look at what's under the black box. The parts are just a ping ultrasonic sensor on a 7 inch dowel rod. I hot glued a piece of foam core board to this dowel so that I could mount the ping to that piece of foam core board and then the dowel comes down to this also another piece of dowel rod just a larger size homemade coupler that I made. This dowel rod is force fitted into a hole I drilled in this piece of wood and also on the back end of it I drilled a hole that's just under the 5 millimeter, just under the size of the 5 millimeter output shaft on the particular stepper motor I'm using so I could force fit the dowel on the output shaft of the stepper motor. And the stepper motor I'm using is just the cheapest one you can, basically the cheapest one you could buy. It's just a 5 volt, 512 to 13 step stepper motor that I picked up from Adafruit. Then driving the stepper motor is a L 293D motor driver chip to this old standard Arduino Uno that's powered by a 9 volt battery and I'm powering the stepper motor the motor voltage going to the L293D is 6 volts instead of the 5 volts. What I discovered is that even with just a 7 inch piece of dowel when the weight of the ping that that is more than in many cases the torque capacity of this little stepper motor, there's a lot of leverage that's occurring here. Someone 
that loves physics math could calculate it and compare it to the holding torque or the return torque of the stepper and they'd find out that this amount of leverage with the weight of that ping is a little more than this simple 5 volt stepper can hold. What would happen is when the when I when you put your hand or whatever object in front of it and it passes over center too far the stepper wouldn't have enough torque to back it up and stand it back up or if you go too far back it doesn't have enough to pull it back up and so in order to compensate for that somewhat I went with six volts powering it rather than five so I'm overdriving it a little bit with voltage just to give it a little more torque and pull back capacity that's all there is to it I eventually I would want a larger stepper maybe a NEMA 17 and with more voltage and a larger motor driver setup but that's the parts the for those who are curious I'll also put the current code in the description of the video and either way I hope this video has been interesting or maybe somewhat helpful to people and just keep in mind I'm doing this solely as a way of eventually incorporating a similar behavioral routine in a floor sweeper style robot that I have on hand. This is just a prototype that's homing in on that one sort of close but not too close behavior. If people are interested or they have any questions definitely put them in the comments and please consider clicking like on the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.